Here, empowered by the Atlantic, West and Northwest, a place for all to co-create. A multi-campus university to serve our community, our culture, our economy. Here we are learners, educators, innovators. Here we combine academic and research excellence. Here our impact is global, but our hearts are local. Here is your new university, Atlantic Technological University. Old school technology on Atlantic. The future is here. Please all rise for the academic procession. Please take your seats. I have the honour to introduce the platform party. Starting from the left-hand side of the stage, we have Dr. Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar, Dr. Orla Flynn, President of ATU, Dr. Michael Hannan, Head of, Gal Head of Galway Mayo College and Registrar, Dr. Des Foley, Head of School of Science and Computing, and Gareth Rowe, Head of Department of Computing, Science and Applied Physics. Iremer Dr. Michael Hannan, Kankalosta, Kunan Service Brunta Oskult. I call upon Dr. Michael Hannan, Head of College, to open the proceedings. Rave Kemi, a Green Usla, the Faltero of Galair Gudiano College Specialist Show. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, soon to be graduates. It is a pleasure and an honour for me, as Head of the Godwin Mayo College and Registrar, to welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I congratulate each and every one of you on reaching this important milestone in your career. I want to welcome you, your friends and your families to this graduation ceremony of the Galway Mayo College. Due to our increased scale as a university, November is now our graduation month. We started in Donegal at the beginning of the month, then moved to Sligo. We were in Letterfrack last Friday and we are here in Galway for three days. Over the course of the month, approximately 5,000 graduates will be conferred across our eight campuses. I remember when I was approximately your age, I attended a conference where Professor John Coolhan of Maynooth University, now deceased, was the keynote speaker. During his address, he was attempting to predict the future and changes we could expect in education, if not the world. But he made one remarkable statement that remained with me ever since when he said, Change is the new constant. It was my first time hearing it and I thought, what a paradox. How could something that changes be a constant? But of course he was right when you reflect on the statement. So much change is happening, it is ever present. So it is absolutely right to refer to change as a constant. You too are experiencing that change phenomenon. You walked in here today as graduates and you will be walking out as graduates within an hour or less. If we go back three to four years, you applied for and accepted a program in GMIT, and here you are today getting your award from the ATU. The creation of technological universities provides a major opportunity for a fundamental re-evaluation within the Irish education system and Irish society of the role and value of core technologically based professional skills and qualifications, 
to meet the demands and opportunities of the future world of work. The quality of your university award will serve you well as you scope out your own individual and unique futures. Fundamentally, the value of your award confirms your ability to embrace change. It is, it is highly probable that you will not retire into the position that you start out in. Indeed, research indicates that you will not even be in the same sector. In the School of Science and Computing, the number of postgraduate programs, including research and students, continues to grow as evidenced by the numbers that are graduating here over the three sessions today. Researchers in the school are working in areas that are extremely relevant to today's world, including the many aspects of the environment, human health and aging, food, medical technology, biotechnology, including vaccine development, data analytics and advanced laboratory methods. It is important to have influential research leaders within our community. And as an example, just last week, Dr. Ian O'Connor was one of 35 academics from Ireland mentioned in the Global High Cited Researchers list, which represents about the top 1% of academics worldwide. The importance of new approaches to teaching and learning, especially during and coming out of the pandemic, has led to a number of national and international awards. To mention just three, we have the European Award for Food Entrepreneurship Education, the National Forum's Disciplinary Excellence in Learning, Teaching and Assessment Award for the School Chemistry Team, and an International Learning Technology Award for the design of e-portfolios for medical science students. The university continues to invest in the school so that it can realize its ambition, and seven new laboratories for teaching and research are planned for commissioning in 2023 to meet the continued demand for science programs. And the construction of the new STEM building is also due to commence in late 2023. The initiatives I refer to are only possible with the support of professional and committed staff. And I want to acknowledge the staff in this school for your commitment and dedication to your students and to the university. Graduates and alumni frequently tell us, and I've no reason to doubt, that what makes GMIT and now the ATU unique is the staff student experience. I love hearing that because that is the message we too believe in. And we will work hard to ensure that the ATU also develops a reputation as a student-centered organization. And I'm more than confident that it will. So finally, back to you, the graduates. Congratulations once again on your individual achievements. And in addition to wishing you all a really enjoyable evening, I want to wish you enough, because more than that, you don't need. Gromil Mahabuk. Aramir Mar McNally, Kahir Lakan Board Shuraha Falja Kurov. I call upon the chairperson of the governing body, Mar McNally, to make the address. Today the address is a pre recording as Mar McNally is unable to join us in person. Congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Maura McNally and I am chair of the Atlantic Technological University. And on my own behalf, but also on behalf of the entire board, on behalf of all of the staff, and on behalf of all persons associated with the Atlantic Technological University, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations. This is an historic day. You are an, an historic class. You are the first class of graduates from this university. You can now take that parchment that you have worked hard for, the blood, sweat and tears of your family and friends, I should add. All has come to this day where you receive your parchment from a university and you are university graduates. You are also now the flag bearers, flag bearers for yourselves, flag bearers for your classmates, flag bearers for your university. You are now the alumni of a university. You can now take that parchment, use that education. You can now help yourself. You can now help your community. You can now help your region because that is the secret behind the Atlantic Technological University. Its aim is to see each person 
improve him or herself, regardless of age, race, color, creed, or beliefs. This is about education. This is university education. We aim for universal education of the persons in this region. And with that in mind, we are so proud to be here to celebrate with you and to extend our gratitude to you as well. Gratitude for choosing this university. Gratitude that you and your families have worked hard to achieve this particular day. And gratitude that you are now in a position to place this university on the map. This parchment is not only a recognition of your hard work, but it's also a recognition of your abilities and of your capacity. This parchment from this university will hopefully open doors for you. It will be like a rising tide. It will lift all boats. As it lifts you, it lifts your belief in yourself, in your community, in your region. The world is now your oyster. You are the beneficiary of a university education. Grasp that opportunity with both hands. Use that opportunity. Do what you can for yourself and for your alumni and your university. Take your place in society. As our first alumni, as our historic class, as I say, you are the flag bearers. We will be looking to you to now be the future of this region, to be the future of this university, to give feedback to this university, to engage as proper alumni. Fulfill your dreams, fulfill your opportunities. Take this graduation, take this parchment and have fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson. Anish Aram, Air Dr. Orla Nilayan, Uktaran Ulskull, Technolyaka and Atlantic. Gradham Abrona, Air Nafoglamori Abrona and Ulskull, Technolyaka and Atlantic, Kunakrehashin, Arishariam. Air on Dr. Billy Bennett, Las Uktaran Ganohi Akadula, August Clara Horn, a Hira Hori, a Kuralahar. Now I call upon Dr. Orla Flynn, President of Atl Atlantic Technological University, to confer awards to the learners presented by the Atlantic Technological University for that purpose. And I ask Dr. Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar, to present the candidates. The Vu and Udara Shatadilshaha in Nullskull Technolyaka and Atlantic. Brunham Lesh Adoctony or Nefalimori of Wintermach and Chaidon and the Doctonishin. Agus Iran go gwer from the Fali Mori Shini Lahukum, Kungam Runigme, Abarkim, Orhu, Gafadamul. By virtue of the authority vested in Atlantic Technological University, I hereby confer awards on the learners who have achieved the standard determined for those awards, and I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchment. I Uktaron Kurimelo her hoot, Nahiro Hori Shohalanus, I will a dirty screw the head lachta, Agus de Vactini, a glevela she, a shacht, a hocht Agusane, then crack na shun to Kilachpi of Vekadaha, a Korla Akadul, Ulskull Technolioth and Atlantic. President, I present to you the following candidates whose examination results have been adopted and awards at levels six, seven, eight, and nine of the National Framework of Qualifications have been approved by the Atlantic Technological University Academic Council. Eremar Gareth Rowe, Canarina, the Alekta Riavrekta, August Fishik, Fidio, Essen Rinsha, Querlar. I call on Gareth Rowe, Head of Department of Computing Science and Applied Physics, to present the candidates from this department. Pa 
<clears throat> Bachelor of Science in Computing and Digital Media, Mia Byrne. Liam Graney, in absentia. Veda Greer, IODG Ladepikan, Georgia Lochran, or Georgia, Megan McNulty, Yana Huntain in absentia, Connor Riley. Anna Texeria, Faria Vieira, and Absentia. Um, could I ask the class of the Bachelor of Science in Computing and Digital Media to stand for a well earned round of applause, please? <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing and Digital Media, Edgar Bex in Absentia, Thomas Burke in Absentia, Shannon Carson in Absentia, Sarah Harding, Sean King, Eric Kowalski, Katarzyna Krakowska, Lung Zi. Stephen Melly, Declan Moran, <clears throat> Matthew Winfield in Abstentia. Could I ask the class of the Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing and Digital Media to please stand for a well-earned round of applause. <laughs> Higher Certificate in Computing in Software Development. David Nolan, in absentia. Glenn Paget. And Glenn, if you don't mind standing, just for a well earned round of applause. Thank you. Bachelor of Science in Computing in Software Development, Mohammed Adil, Liam Byrant. Alexander Burns in absentia, Luke Byrne,
Michael Cahill. Dylan Corr in absentia. Aaron Darcy in absentia. Keelan Duddy. Keen Hessian. Lisa Mannion. Niall McDonough. Aidan McNee. David Mundahan in absentia. Christopher Mullins. Svetlin Natchev. Victor Onanuga. Imra Quinn in absentia. Keelan Rafferty. Gareth Ward. Dylan Whelan. And so could I ask the class of the Bachelor of Science in Computing and Software Development to please stand for a very well. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing in Software Development. David Allen. Pavel Antonov. Fionn Brown. Oscar Sibian, Anton Golubev, John Groves. Kaspar Goshanda, Oscar Goshanda, Owen Kelly. Stephen Kelly, Owen Lernahan, Dean McGowan in absentia, Milos Malewski. Patrick Murray, Thank 
Kaelin O'Callaghan. Gareth O'Leary. David O'Loughran. Christian Opshek. Emmanuel Ozebuen. Emil Parvanov. Wojty Pogazelski. David Pertil in absentia. Kieran Roach in absentia. Evan Smith. Pantari Samcharan. Panachai Thongvinit. Layani Osala Vijadara Jaya Wadana So could I please ask class of the Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing and Software Development to stand for a very well rounded applause. Thank you very much. Bachelor of Science in Physics and Instrumentation, John Doyle. Alex Keenan, in absentia. Dylan McMahon. Marianne Mongan. Cahill Roddy. So could I ask the Bachelor of Science, the class of the Bachelor of Science in Physics and Institution, to stand for a well-earned round of applause, please. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Physics and Instrumentation, Neve Finn. Irvin Guadedo Guevara. Alex Mangan. Sarah McCarthy. Jasmine Mink. Kareem Kazem.
Kevin Staunton, in absentia, Siba Jonas. Could I ask the class of the Bachelor of Science Honours in Physics and Education to please stand for a well earned round of applause? <laughs> Higher Diploma in Science in, Cupu in Computing in Data Analytics Shane Austin in Absentia, Adrian Bursky in Absentia, Leonard Curtin in Absentia. Kevin Dooley. Jonathan Harper. Kean Hogan in absentia. Fiona Lee in absentia. Diego Lima. Michelle Mahan in absentia, Maria Claudia Marazzoni in absentia, Bonnie Shimenez Nusu, Bekra O'Donoghue in absentia, Connor O'Reardon Reardon in absentia. Alexander Silva Pepe in absentia, Benson Thomas John, Margarita Lucas, So could I ask the class of the Higher Diploma in Science and Computing in Data Analytics to please stand for a very, very well earned round of applause. <laughs> Higher Diploma in Science and Software Development. Kate Blackett in absentia. Michael Carew in absentia. Daniel Klein, in absentia. Dimo Domov. Lynn Fitzgerald. Sean Harron, in absentia. Margaret Evie, in absentia. Ronan Kenny in absentia, Joseph Kilty in absentia, Nana on Nina Maduqui in absentia, Casey Malone in absentia, Vincent Manley in absentia, Claire McCarthy in absentia, Aaron Nolte in absentia, Patrick O'Carroll in absentia. Michael O'Grady, Ryan O'Malley in absentia, Martina Schwartz, and then George Stavro. In absentia. So, could I ask the higher diploma, the class of the higher diploma in science and software development, to 
please stand for a very well earned round of applause. Thank you. I call on Dr. Des Foley, Head of School of Science and Computing, to call up the winner of the Academic Achievement Award, and Dr. Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar, with Dr. Michael Hannan, Head of College, to present the graduate with their award. I present to you the following graduate who has achieved the highest academic excellence within the Department of Computer Science and Applied Physics. The recipient of the ATU Academic Achievement Award is Bachelor of Science in Computing and Software Development graduate Svetlin Natchev. Congratulations to all our graduates. Please move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Eremer Dr. Orla Nilian, Anukhtaran Kriyakapur Leshanoked Shah. I ask Dr. Orla Flynn, our president, to make the closing address. Jehiva Rinushlag, a smardurt, Arga Hirlach, Quirin Falsha Kriul Roy Glare. Agus nach untak an lai in your vagus kogardus len ar gemaha er fad. I want to extend a virtual welcome to all who are viewing us online from around the world, but an especially warm welcome to those of you with us here today, our graduates, your families, your friends, and a special welcome also to HU colleagues, members of our governing body, and guests. The main purpose of our graduation ceremony is to publicly recognize and celebrate your achievements. And on behalf of us all in Atlantic Technological University, I want to congratulate you on achieving and completing your course of study with us. And I think it's timely to reflect on what a great achievement um, that you have, have, have attained. And I want you to remember that only a small percentage of the world's population, less than 7%, hold college degrees. And you are all now among that small group and you not only can, but must make a difference. All of us in ATU look forward to the significant contributions that you will make in Irish and perhaps global society as you embark on your life and career journey. We are confident that you have achieved and acquired the knowledge, skills and competences to be successful. And you should be proud of your efforts, as indeed we are. And it was just lovely to have been able to present you in person today with your parchment especially after the last difficult couple of years with everything online and remote, and it was really lovely to, to have you with us today. We've been speaking here about how proud we are of you, rightly so, and we've been clapping and applauding you, but you wouldn't be here today without the support of your family and friends, and perhaps now I'm going to invite you, our new graduates, to perhaps give a round of applause to those who have helped you achieve this great moment today. So, a boulebos, please, for your family and friends. Today's graduation ceremony, however, also allows us to look at how our own organization has grown and changed alongside you, especially over the last 12 months. In April, we were designated a technological university, Atlantic Technological University, marking over a decade of hard work by many people, people who had the vision to imagine what we could become and who saw the clear need for us to evolve to better serve the needs of the region. I know this resonates with the earlier words of our Kahirluk, 
around the critical role that we can and will play in the west and northwestern region of this island. You are among over 5,000 graduates receiving parchments from us throughout the month of November. And I do hope you stay in touch with us in ATU. And remember, you are now part of a large community of ATU alumni. Community for us is more than just a word. It's a philosophy. And it's a philosophy that keeps us going through good days and bad. Coming together as a single, sustainable and resilient community will be a core focus for us in ATU in the months and years ahead. And to conclude today, I want to thank our musicians and to everybody who assisted in any way with the ceremonies uh, this evening. Special thanks to the ATU conferring team who worked so hard together as one team across our one university to develop our graduation ceremony. And I very much hope that you found it meaningful here this evening. Kogorda Sarish, Agus Tasulagam, Gominikshiv, Sultas and Law and Ish, Gurumil Mil Magriv. Congratulations to the first graduates of Atlantic Technological University 2022. In a moment, the platform party will retire. There's just a small amount of housekeeping to complete. Can I ask the academic award recipient and their family to proceed to the rear of the room for photography immediately after the ceremony? Photography studios for personal photographs are located in the veranda lounge beside the lobby. The student ambassadors will direct you. I would like you to join me in thanking the musicians, Soundpost Ensemble, who provided the wonderful music here today. We might give them a round of applause. <laughs> Refreshments are being served in the hotel foyer afterwards, and we'd love to join you there. We wish all of our graduates, families, and friends a wonderful evening. Respected guests, graduates, academics, this concludes the meeting for the purpose of conferring awards on the graduates of the Technological University. Finally, can I request the audience to stand while the conferring party, academic staff and special guests leave the hall. Please all rise. <laughs>